Come and get your love. A lot of love going on here. He wants a treat. All right. Better do this one-handed now. I don't want to give her the whole treat. Okay, breaking it down. Breaking it down. There you go. All right, everyone. I don't know what happened. I locked myself out. Anyways, <laughs> Laura T, Dream Deals 1, 2, 3 on eBay. And the Silver Owl Thrifter on YouTube. How much did I make this year? What should I make overnight? How much did I really make after fees, shipping, cost of goods, taxes, everything? Well, I'll tell you, I made $136. I'm going to break it down, talk about what I sold, some keywords, and then I'm going to do a haul video. I had some technical difficulties this morning. For some reason, I couldn't upload a video. Well, I feel like my glasses are really dirty. I can't even, see, I can't see very well without my glasses. I look all blurry. Um... So, yeah, I'll do a haul video. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I finally figured it out. But I did it. I figured it out. I didn't give up. All right. Hello. <laughs> I sold. Let's talk about what I sold. And. Oh, got to get organized here. I hope everyone's doing well. Oh. All right, Chico's, size three, which is like a large, I think, or extra large. And it's Chico's orange, three-quarter sleeve, casual top, cotton blend, women's, extra large, three. And this sold for $10 and $6 shipping. And I made $9 on that. Sold another silk cardigan. This is like the second one in two days, so bolo. Trending. This is a Banana Republic silk blend cardigan sweater, woman's pocket. And it's got a little bit of an embellishment on the back. It's a size small. It's nice. Sold for $10, $6 shipping. Made $9 on that. This is something different that I picked up. It's just a pair of checkered overalls. Took a while to sell, didn't make too much on them. They're called Mod Ref Jumpsuit Women's Size Small One Piece Tank Check Straight Black and White Jumpsuit. I probably should have put overall in there too, but anyways, I sold these for $10.80 six dollars shipping there's a trend here everything's selling for ten dollars and six dollars shipping I made eight dollars on those oh this was pretty good yeah nice pair i'm only picking up shoes if they're in like really good condition i have so many shoes in inventory that i've had for so many years i got a take them down or revamp them and I do it periodically anyways LL Bean women's even these didn't sell for a whole lot but I only paid a dollar for them so that's okay LL Bean women's black cove Mary Jane whenever they have this little strap or something here Mary Jane adjustable strap flat shoes size nine and these sold for $17 and $8 shipping and I made $11 on those. Oh, this was a nice little sale. It's a Oscar de la Renta Boy Scout. Uh, yeah, there it is, yeah, scarf. And there's the Oscar de la Renta signature it just looked different and um 100% oh, I was gonna say 100% silk because I was reading it 100% polyester Oscar de la Renta scarf blue yellow Boy Scouts of America Cubs Wolves and this sold for 
ten dollars and six dollars shipping. I'm not kidding. I'm not making this up. Uh, and I made eight dollars on that. All right, this did not sell for ten dollars and eight dollars, six dollars shipping. Eddie Bauer, premium goose down. I think I've only had this listed a very short time. Somebody put in the comments, you're gonna sell that quick. Or are you going to sell that for good money? Eddie Bauer Premium Goose Down Puffer Vest Large Black 700 Fill Hiking. Sold for $40 and $9 shipping. Paid $3 for this. These Goose Down vests are very, very good. So I made $31 on that. So I've made... One thirty-six overnight gross and seventy-two net. Pretty good, fifty percent, a little better than fifty percent on that. And uh, I've made this year so far gross eleven thousand two hundred and sixty-six, but net only five thousand two hundred, five thousand seven hundred twenty-four. I shouldn't say only, but it's about half of what my gross is is my net. So I've made almost six thousand dollars this year selling used stuff on eBay. And now, why don't I talk about what I am buying at the thrift store uh, to sell on eBay. I saw these on the shelf. Look at them. And this is sand art. I did a Google search on these and one came up that was listed or selling for $77. And these were about $2 each. So I picked them both up. Upon further research, there, I'll probably get 20 or 25 for these. Um, they, oh yeah, let me just show you. They open up and they're a key thing, but this one also is a little broken, but if it's just for a decor, it would look nice. I don't know if somebody can fix that, but this one I think I'm probably gonna get maybe 10 or something. I don't know, I don't know. This one is very nice. So that's sand art from India. And if you look, you can see real close, but it's just, Pretty cool. All right. Um, and then for hard goods, most of this is going to be clothing, but a few hard goods. Just this clock stood out to me. I haven't even tested it, but it's battery operated. It's World Market. Said it sold for $29.99. Um, I don't know, $15 or $20 for that. People like these. I like them. People like what I like. <laughs> it's true. People like what you like, too. The things we like, we like. Um, all right, where are we at here? Okay, lady, yes, I don't want to grab. Oh, whoa, geez. excuse me. All right, what did I get? Oh, thanks for putting up with me, peeps. All right, okay, let's get going here. All right, what is this? LL Bean, this was about two dollars extra large and it's just a, a plain long sleeve t-shirt but it's it's LL Bean smelling it yeah it smells fine um just smells like laundry detergent a little bit it's if it really smells like laundry detergent I will put that in there because some people are allergic to those kinds of smells and sometimes something smells so strong of laundry detergent if it ever smells like mothballs, I think I've said this before. I, it just happened to me yesterday. I put a pair of sh pair of shorts in here, and shorts like cotton denim shorts, and they stunk of mothballs. Maybe they were in with something else. I put them back. I can't stand that, and it's poisonous. Actually, it's very bad for you. Don't have it in your house. I it's possibly carcinogenic. So, isn't that crazy? People would put their stuff in it and then wear it. Okay, anyways, 100% um, cotton. And so maybe 15 for this, it's a good size. It's in very nice condition. I gotta get better organized for places to put stuff here. I love this stuff, I hope you can see all this. Let me make sure, this is Lucky Brand. Oh, no, it's not, it's J. Jill. And this was about $3. And it's just a nice kind of rayon, I believe it's rayon. It makes a difference. Yeah, rayon. And uh, maybe 20 for this. Very pretty. Uh, it's a 
medium. I like it, so I'll wear it. <laughs> Looks like a nice kind of loose. I gotta get a little better here. I'm sorry. Organized. All right. stuff has a pattern on it and you can't tell you look at it and it's like is that a is that a stain did somebody spill coffee no it's just a pattern and a nice pattern it is this is the lucky brand extra large about three dollars very nice log and look maybe 20 for that oh this is a very good bolo brand chico's traveler it's always going to have this slinky black look size one it paid about five dollars for this and this one is just a kind of an open tunic but it has a nice little embellishment on the bottom I don't think it, oh god look at this <sighs> miss that I think I can return these all right well I that would look better I always say I'm going to and then I just get caught up in it and I I give everything a look, but I don't look as well as I should. All right, I got a lot of men's shorts. This is Polo Ralph Lauren, and these particular shorts had a very good sell through, maybe 25, and pay. I paid about four dollars for those. A pair of cotton. You know, they got that preppy look, okay, which is very in right now. Cotton, nice and comfortable. Banana Republic Polar Tech. This had good sell through, paid four dollars. It's just a Polar Tech, nice warm part of like layering. Maybe I'll get 25 for that. Gosh, I was watching Big Yumbo today. I don't know if you ever watch him, but I don't know how the some people that everything he gets is like $40, $50 Viore. Uh, he got like two or three Vioris and um, Lulu, Lulu Lemon, not Lulu Row, Lulu Lemon. And Patagonia and and Prana and stuff. And I just I get like maybe those things once in a while, but like this is Nike and this was it's four XL. Paid about seven dollars for this, but it should get about thirty five or something. I think it's very good condition as I make sure and look at it. Doesn't have any spots on it. Oh, what's this? Oh yeah, this was this is a good. All right, on my left. These kinds of styles of shoes are very popular, and I know this because my husband and my son and everybody, every guy I know likes these. These sort of slip-on. Mules, clogs, this is GBX, which I'd never heard of, but sometimes if you never hear of something, um, this is what I do. I put that style with no name on it, like men's, mules, clogs, leather, size nine. And every single one of every you know brand comes up and there was like 137 listed. And then you look at the sell through for all of those, all those different brands, was like 131 or something like that so i'm like okay these styles of shoes no matter what brand they're selling uh because they're just so convenient you know you walk the dog you want to slip them on on a fall day you don't want to lace your boots up and stuff like that that's what i wear all the time i always slip them on and for people older people like me it's hard to put on socks and tie shoes and stuff so i basically live in slip-on shoes and there's a lot of people like me so if you ever see those look them up if they're good condition get them a good price I think I paid about six dollars for those so. um okay this is L.L. Bean and this particular shirt a piece of thread on it this was about two dollars it's just a 100% Supima cotton and this particular shirt was about, uh, had a good sell through, 15 or 20, I'd say. This is Lands and Serious Sweats, extra large. 
nice pullover, kind of a mock turtleneck, nice print, warm, nice size, $3, maybe get 20 for that. Can't, I checked all the South, oh, and this I got for little Evelyn, my granddaughter. Made you smile. And she does. Oh, she's so cute. Now my son is coming next week. He's never met her, and we're all going down there together. I can't wait. It's like the first time we would have all been together since he got married, and that was a good year and a half ago. So Another little sleeper. Well, I'm having a lot of fun at thrift stores now that I have a granddaughter. This is J. Crew garment dyed French terry, medium tall. All good stuff. Up four dollars. It's a nice earthy color. Again, I hate it when they put the tag right over the thing. And just you know, nice little side. Stretchy side panels. Uh, this set, uh, that might get about 30 bucks. Good sell through with that Terry stuff. Um, this I got because uh, it's L.L. Bean, extra, extra large, tall. And it's kind of got that polo rugby look. Got an L.L. Bean logo. All this is very good stuff. Good size. Three dollars. This thrift store. It's my new honey hole. I finally got a honey hole. I got a honey hole. <sighs> Makes me happy. Uh, what do I get for that? I don't know, twenty or twenty-five. I just like a place where I can go and find some decent prices and some decent stuff. It doesn't have to be blow you away everything all the time because it's not going to be. Um, a little flowered onesie. And the flower thing for not a baby. This is, I just picked this up. It's Luxury Linen Charter. It's just Charter Club, which I think is Kohl's or something. New with tag. Does it have the price on these? Core Linen Crop. I don't even know if I knew these were new with tag when I got them. I don't have the tag on them. What I paid for, oh yeah, I do. $3. But look, just really nice, extra, extra large. Pink pineapples. Love it. Pink pineapples. Pockets. Oh my gosh. Somebody's going to love those. Beach resort. Uh, that's fun. That's a fun, a fun little pair of crop pants. Life is good. Vintage XXL. $3. Men's long sleeve. Honestly, anywhere from ten to twenty dollars probably on that, but closer probably to twenty. Another pair of shorts, Banana Republic Aiden short, size thirty-four. I've sold them before. It's a, I believe, a linen short, cotton linen blend. Um, fifteen to twenty. Another pair of shorts, Croy. And they had a pretty good sell through with these distressed kind, this distressed look. And I think it's a, it looks like a large size. It's sometimes it's hard to find the tags on these. Well, I'll find it later. Uh, well, waist 38, so that's good. Uh, about $3. Maybe get 20 for those. These I picked up because of the pattern. And their Izod salt water, about four dollars, thirty-four inseam seven. They've got cockatiels and hibiscus, and I'll probably get twenty dollars. And here's another pair of preppy vineyard vines club short, seersucker green pinstripe. Four dollars, maybe get twenty or twenty-five for that. That's it, folks. That's all I got. Oh, no, no, no. Tommy Bahama Relax. I got two of these. One blue, one kind of a tan, and they um, are pure linen. And I think they I paid about three dollars each for those. Maybe get twenty, twenty-five each. All right. 
I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you're having a great day. It's been really warm here. Uh, I hope those of you in Missouri and places out there are doing okay. I know there was some tornadoes out there, some severe weather. So stay safe, and I will see you 